Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. On today's episode, we're going to be talking to Charles and going on a buffalo hunt. What you preparing for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up, then. Let's go. Now, this is a very interesting mission, but oh, it kind of gets me riled up a little bit. Because I hate to see animals treated that way. You know... It was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. The bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people... Well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Now we're going to be riding across the plains here looking for the buffalo herd. And we're going to come across a couple of very grisly discoveries. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. All right, let me get my Springfield rifle here. And we're gonna have to try to take down one of these bison the best way we can. Yep. I'm gonna try to find one that I can get a good... That got it. I was going to say one that I could get a good shot on, but then I got a nice heart shot there and, and he went down. Take the horns too. It can all be used. Now it's kind of rare that when you're actually hunting these in the game, that you will actually get a one-shot kill like that. What I try to do is snipe them in the head with a rifle with a good scope. Go check something out. Okay, let's go. That's the best way to bring them down, because you're going to need a perfect bison pelt. Where are we going? For one I of your. I saw some scavenger birds over here. Your satchels that the cook can make you, <laughs> and it's very difficult to find a the bison normally because they wander all around and there's only the one herd and once you do find them to find a perfect one and get a, a good kill no look bison shot and left for dead it looks like why would someone do that i don't know but i see tracks heading in this direction i say we follow them all right lead the way that was what i was talking about there's going to be a lot of dead buffalo laying around. Now, unfortunately, this is something that actually happened in real life. The U.S. government paid people to kill buffalo. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. And most times they would just kill them, skin them, and then leave them. Not even take the meat. It was done to try to starve out the native people. To have them to be more compliant. Look, another dead bison on the hill to the right. Come on. It's not a very good chapter in our history, but it is based on reality. It actually sure, happened. I'm not for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Now, I'm a hunter myself, so I've killed my share of animals. And I don't have any problem with people hunting if they were going to use the meat. 
that's why I hunted for a long, long time, is because I needed to do so to feed my family. But stuff like this, where you just shoot them and leave them lay, just for the horns or just for the hide, is horrible. And I stand with everybody who is against that, because that is terrible stuff. No animal should be treated this way. Just trying to steal what I can steal and see what I can see at this little campsite. And then we're going to move on. Because what we're going to do is we're going to follow this trail of dead buffalo. I'm going to pick a carrot. And eat it. My horse loves these wild carrots. I'll have to come back here and pick the rest of them. Dogs haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. But in this mission, we are going to track down the people that are doing this. And then it's up to me what I do with them. This way. We should have a good view from up here. I could let them go, or I could kill them. I think I will most likely okay. kill them. You see anything? I see some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp? For the look. All right. Let's go. Yep. Yeah, there's their camp right over there, I believe. We're gonna kind of make our way over there. Bastards, just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. And deal with these guys. They will get what's coming to them. Charles is awful pissed, so Charles is gonna is gonna lead the way here. I'm just gonna have his back. Look, more dead bison. It has to be them. Come on, wait up. Yeah. Back whatever play he makes. If he takes a hold of them, then I'll take a hold of them. If he doesn't, he doesn't. But I'm here to protect him. And to get a little bit of personal did revenge on bison? these guys for what they're doing. What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? You calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What we? <laughs> it's that business of mine. Good God, you're crazy. I got a family. A family. Don't That's shoot. One dead. Stand back, Charles. So I'm gonna interrogate this guy. Answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. He just oh, admitted it. Tell us you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please don't kill me. I'm begging nope. you. You're going to die. All right. Get I'm going to pretend to let you go. Just, don't, don't shoot me, mister. So that my honor goes up a little bit. And run away. But you're not going very Why far. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe. Because I'm going to gun you you'll down go like you gunned down the bison. Oh. Okay. I'm going to see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Now this storyline for the game here, these people were paid to kill all these bison and make it look like the Indians did it because the army is trying to kill off the rest of the Indians and, and get rid of them. Doesn't really make a lot of sense because the Indians would never slaughter buffalo like that indiscriminately. They ate them. They used them for their teepee. They used them for everything. So this guy's gonna burn. It's a little preview of what you got coming to you in hell when you get there, bud. But the Native Americans would never slaughter the buffalo this way. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to why they would try to make it look like they did it. And it's not like the the white settlers here would have gave a damn anyway. 
if the Indians were killing off all the buffalo. It, it, this storyline kind of doesn't make sense. But I get to kill a couple people and throw them on the fire, so that's always a good thing. Try to move him over a little bit so he catches. Come on. It's hard work burning people in the fire sometimes. They don't want to land just right, but that was perfect. So now he's going to go up in flames. And that will be the end of the poachers. They didn't really have any kind of forensic teams or anything back then that would check for prints or hair fibers or anything like that. So I don't really need to burn the bodies, but I just enjoy it. It's kind of my thing. I can ride around for hours ambushing camps and burning bodies. Probably not something I should be admitting on on YouTube, but that's okay. It's all fun and games. Ooh, nice. That is the poison throwing knife pamphlet. When you find these pamphlets, you have to pull them out and read them. And then once you read them, that recipe is committed to memory and you'll be able to craft whatever that item is when you do your crafting at a campfire. So now I can make poison throwing knives if I want to. I like the poison arrows much better. They're, they're amazing. So we're just going to keep on looting this camp and finding what we can find and taking what we can take. But that's about all the time we have. So thank you for joining me and hanging out with me. And until I speak to you again, love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye. Let's go, girl. Oh, she shook her head yes. See y'all later.